Today, two parents were charged over a threat allegedly made by their child against Rittner High School. Authorities say the alarming increase in school threats are draining resources from both schools and police who are responding. Fox News Kelly Haskins reports on these serious charges. In a span of a week, Authorities say close to a dozen school threats were made on both sides of the river. Some districts hit with multiple. The FBI has joined forces with area police and school districts to stress the serious consequences of these crimes. We often see after a tragic school shooting such as that that occurred in Georgia on September 4th of this year, a spike in the number of hoax threats that we see across our nation. We saw a spike here in 2022 when we had our own tragic shooting at Central Visual and Performing Arts School. The community and law enforcement must work together to send a message that hoax threats will not be tolerated. And we must help our young people understand that there are consequences for his or her actions. School districts across the area are taking the threat seriously. What happens when students make threats? Um, obviously, we take any threat seriously uh, until we determine that it is not a credible threat. We have had students make threats this year. Uh, in every case, we have been able to determine that it is not a credible threat. However, uh, when students make threats, with that comes discipline and consequences. Officials say at the federal level, you can be sentenced up to five years in prison for making a hoax threat. If someone is injured, that sentence goes up to 20 years. If death occurs, you could be facing a life sentence. Not only is this extremely frustrating, but it is a huge drain on resources to law enforcement agencies and school districts alike. Law enforcement is asking for the public's help and say if you hear or see a threat, please do not share or repost it on social media. Call 911 or contact Missouri School Safety Threat Reporting System. Reporting in downtown St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.